Hey folks, it's Ben. Look what we dragged into the yard today. <clears throat> Another one for the collection, I guess, if you will. We've got a 1987 Pontiac Fiero SE. Comes with a 2.8 liter V6 and an automatic transmission. Picked this up uh, just north of Calgary from a guy who did absolutely nothing with it. He got it from another guy, younger guy. Uh, might have been his first car. Don't know, but he did a lot of stuff to it. So we'll just kind of go through the car and take a look and just kind of suck it all in. Got some mirror hangage there. That's probably pretty new. And you got some crabs on fire wrap here. Make it this metal mirror look lighter, I guess. And uh, stickers. Sticker, sticker, more horsepower. That's a horsepower per sticker. So, you know, that's how you got to go with it. Where do we want to start? Let's start on the inside. So it is an SE. I don't like the logo. More carb carbon fiber. Justin Bieber. What? Okay. So uh, <clears throat> it's an oddly optioned car. Let's go with that, right? So let's hop in, <clears throat> and it it smells okay. So we're, we're cool there. Um, first off, we have door locks, manual windows. There's no power here. Starting off the odometer for historic sakes, a 148.881 is what the kilometers are. Non-GT steering wheel with a totally dead battery. So we're going to get nothing there. Tomorrow we'll put the battery in it see what we can do. Uh, of course, we're in Canada, so we have uh, communist measurements there of kilometers per hour. Fuel gauge, oh, I'm sorry, that's uh, temperature and fuel gauge. Rip'ems, and uh, of course, just this is a typical GT or a later model. They move the gauges up to the cluster there, same as my 88. No power windows, no power door locks, no AC. Awesome radio. What's up with that? It's got the equalizer and everything, so, and loud. Loud means it's got a subwoofer in it somewhere, which is actually uh, right behind me here, so. Um, that's pretty cool. Automatic transmission, clean ashtrays, full of, uh oh, full of money. That's cool. Full of fuses, not so much. <laughs> How much do we have here? This is free. We're getting a rebate. That's like uh, two bucks worth of coins, and these are these aren't. Oh, what is this? Interesting. Oh, that might be the light for underneath here. We'll just stick that back in there. Okay. And then, oh, uh oh. Lots of bulbs, lots of fuses. Nothing crazy under that. Big relay. No, not that big, but 30 amp. Is that a fuse or a relay? Probably a fuse. So, okay, there's that. This is where our power windows would be, and this is where our directional mirrors would be, and this would be where the. Uh, um, cigarette lighter would be if there was one. More carbon fiber. Anything in Oh, ooh, gross. Uh, more electronics of some kind and some wire splices. Okay. Do, 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 do. The car does start, by the way. We did boost it to get it onto the trailer. Light bulbs everywhere. What's the deal with the light bulbs? Now, we got a sex, a sex light, like, here. Like, they... But we'll have to get the battery yeah, in it. There's the strip that's hanging down underneath it. Oh, there's a strip in here, is there? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, man, this is a pimp car. We got the fan ditch there. What about the glove box? Oof. Mentioned it doesn't smell bad. Oh, <laughs> what's this? <laughs> no, it's not more fuses. It's about oh. stem covers. Yeah, they've got fancy ones on. They're fancy ones on this car. Okay, so there's the four. I'm putting those on other things. And uh, the nice seats with the, I don't know if my 88 has the nice embroidered sewed on really nice. thing. The seats are super fantastic, not dusty. Uh, up here we've got no lights, uh, poppies for the veterans. And uh, we got some water damage along the hood, the top here. Um, but you know, it's such a tiny headliner. And then we got a roof here. That's cool, but let's pop open the, Let's open the bonnet, as they'd say in England. Because I hate to call it a hood, because you have your engine under the hood. This is a Fiero, so there is no engine under the hood hood. Is it All the way up. Bam. It's 
it's really light. <laughs> I'm hoping that these are LEDs and they look like they might be. I saw a picture of the car. They look like they might be. They could be awesome LEDs. Won't know till I drop a battery in it. Is that I the washer fluid? I have a battery. It's huge. Yep, that's where the washer fluid is. Mini jack, mini spare. Can't put the tire here. You got to put that in the trunk. It's missing. Uh, there's usually a strip for the sunroof that sits there. This is a free. Trunk of weather stripping. Yep. Uh, RPO codes right here. So we'll decipher those maybe in another video just for you guys. We've got some air ducting for the AC system. Brake fluid says. Yep. A little dirty, but fine. Dirty, it does have dirty. brakes, yeah. Fan goes whoosh. Look at that. Don't have to worry about it turning on. There's zero power in this thing. Oh, I hope there's a... It's too deep. I bet you it's gone. More carbon fiber. Look at the hood. It just is like, I'm broken. Instagram of the previous owner. Let's go ahead and call him out. Beardless Ben. Beardless Ben. The Ben part fell off. There might be underscore there? Yes. Yep. So Beardless Ben was the prior owner of this car. If you want to see Instagram stuff, go to Alice over the, rainbow. over the Rainbow. Alice underscore over the rainbow. We have free washer fluid, practically free. Typical car for that. Um, we were going to check the VIN on this guy. It is matching. It's a matching. So it's the hood. It's weirdly painted. Um, and there's some pictures it looks like it might even be blue. But who knows? So that's cool. You can take the sunroof glass and put it there if you wanted to run with the top off and then like i don't know where that plastic strip is but so it looks cool here um you can see the gold peeking out from under all this carbon fiber so i'm willing to bet that uh we uh, take all this lightweight carbon fiber off the hood it might be gold underneath there typical really hard to find apparently at this point in time <laughs> 14 inch wheels um they are 100 millimeter on five, so we'll see. Nice thing about the 8040 87s is the offset, you can interchange the tires, the wheels, it doesn't matter, 88s are different. Got some check-in on that, door opens, if it was unlocked probably. So let's keep on going to the engine compartment, which with no electricity, is hard to do, so we need a key. Whoops, where did I put the key? There they are. I'm, this is going to be like a no edit video. So, stick it in there. Ta da! Boom. There's some more electrical bits over there. More, what's in the trunk? What's going on here? So, we got. Those are the LED adapters. Like for plugs or? Yep. Okay, so two of those. That's good. Two headlights. Ugh. Distributor cap. Mm. Champion. It's new. And a button. Yes. Okay. That might be original. Don't know. Why would we have electronics here? Ooh. Lightning holders. Yep. Brand new. Wonder if they're are they universal? Import ignition wire set. But this is totally a Pontiac. Anyway, that's cool. What else we got? Ice scraper. The vent I took off because the battery is so dead, it's dead. But uh, the vent comes off there and needs some paint. Lug nut wrench. We've got to have keys somewhere. Oh, those are... Those... Oh, no, there's a liar right there. Bam. So we can get that off and never put that on again. <laughs> so we need some plugs. Light is out because it's dark. And uh, you know what this is, eh? Look at me, I'm Canadian because I have a block heater in my Fierro. So that's a block heater cable which hangs out the trunk, right? It's I really guess you, you dangle it out here. You know what's going on. Red flag, but what the hell. Uh, trailer hitch ball on a Fierro. Really? You're that hard up for cars. Yeah. You need a trailer hitch. Oh, what goodness do we have cooking here? It's just something that's not connected to here. <clears throat> Yep, we got a little vacuum leak there and a Fiero manifold there. Typical 2.8, tasty little What's thing. That? that is a great question. <laughs> it's cut off pretty good. 
and I can't remember. It's been like 12 years since I played with my own Fiero, so. There's another one here. Yeah. Just another piece of metal that's attached. It can't be just metal though. Yeah, but to. it's like a pipe and it's just got a hole and then it comes to it here. It might be, oh, they ducked, oh, what it is is it ducks air to the ignition module to cool it, the coil, uh, and ducks it down there to cool whatever the hell is down there, mm -hmm. transmission modulator, whatever. Uh, on this side, it doesn't have the cute little twist tabbies to get to the air filter. You gotta use a screwdriver for that. And the EGR, which is nice and toasty, and it's got some sort of heat wrap they stuck under there, which is degraded. And that, and like I say, we did start it. Ooh, that's sticky though. We'll go through that. Harley little intake, Fiero. Uh, ground for this up here. The, the old hit button, junk <coughs> button. So there you go. That's uh, that's the new one. <clears throat> Big plans for this car include not really doing anything with that. <clears throat> Probably not on the wheels. And you know, we're just gonna make it pink. <laughs> uh, that's what you'll see on the card. Uh, we've already got multiple cat pee on it. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna actually teach you how to wrap a car, and we are going to wrap the car. So we will. Uh, we're going to teach us first, and then you. There's cat pee right on the tire there. Really? Anyway, yeah, we're gonna learn to wrap it. We're gonna get it running. So we're gonna do some brake work. We're gonna do some other sort of maintenance things. I hate it when they have mismatching wipers. I know you're not rich, but come on, man. Help me out here. Uh, we've got some issues with the windshield. My guess is that they didn't quite get the right molding and it's stretched or shrunk. And yeah, it's, we need to make that better. Do wipes, which are a pain to change. Other than that, though, I think we're winning. I don't think it's got to take much for a little, little anger there. Uh, much for an inspection. Mud flaps on a Fiero with ground effects. That's like, that's like an inch off the ground. How do you, how do you drive on the ground? More pee. What the hell? <clears throat> Struts up here. I mean, it's a nice little car here. Motomaster, Canadian tire brand. So, you know, it's just dripping maple syrup right on the, the bottom of this thing here. So, uh, if you have any questions on it, I know a lot about Fieros. I've studied them for years. I have an idiot. More pee. Holy crap. I was kidding about the cat pee until I walked around the car. <laughs> uh, you want to pop the gas thing on here. You just got to reach around the old boop and bam. There you go. You can stick gas in it that way. That's full of dirt. And at least the nice thing, unlike the probe that's hiding there, that would be the only car I have that uses premium. Doesn't use premium, uses regular fuel, which is a key here. 2.8's not good for fuel. <laughs> We're looking at maybe 22, 25 miles per gallon. We're not gonna get 30 out of it, that's for sure. But it's nice, it's the SE, so we don't have the fake gull wings, the, the GT. So if you have any questions, ask them, comments. Why stop peeing on my car? Any other comments, feel free to leave them. Subscribe to my channel or this playlist because it'll be a playlist. There'll be infinite amount of videos about Fieros on that playlist. I think, it, I think we'll call it Pretty in Pink or something like that. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. And guys, I will catch you next time. When am I going to slow-mo? Maybe the cat.